I am Ultrazilla, and uh, we got some breaking news this morning. So good morning to y'all. We got some movie monsters. Plus, I'm gonna talk about a little news that I posted on uh, the community tab a little bit this weekend. Uh, we'll talk about it here, you know, since it's you know Godzilla related to. Might as well put it in, even though there's not a lot to talk about quite yet. Anywho, let's get to the breaking news. Four new movie monster series figures have been revealed this morning, including three Final Wars figures. So we got Godzilla, obviously here. Looks pretty good. I gotta say, I do like this Godzilla. Standing pretty upright, but he's got nice hands in like an action pose the head looks pretty good different head than what we've seen um before so that's really good then we got Hedera, and i just reviewed ymsf's Hedera. i i think this one looks really really good i think the colors look pretty spot on here so i'm really excited to get the movie monster series version of uh this as well that's gonna be fun I, I really like what I'm seeing from this heater. And then we got one that might be a little bit questionable. Uh, this is supposedly Manda from Final Wars. And, um, yeah, I don't know about that, guys. Uh, that's that's pretty cartoonish. Uh, you know, Movie Monster Series is kind of cartoonish. So there's that. But, wow, that's a little bit far from uh, the Manda we see on screen. Um... That Manda has some, some serious, serious bite, and this one does not. So this is, you know, you know, without having it in hand, this is one of the silliest looking movie monster series figures we've gotten in quite a while. So yeah, there's a Final Wars Manda coming, but this, this ain't it. <laughs> oh my gosh. So yeah, it is what it is. Finally, we have a straight up regular... Mechagodzilla 93. Um, it looks fine, you know. Uh, supposedly, I should be getting the Super Mechagodzilla uh, Godzilla Store exclusive either today or tomorrow. It's it's in town already. I just don't know if DHL is gonna be bringing. I haven't gotten notice as of yet at the time of this recording. So you you will be seeing that on the channel, you know, in the next couple of days you know maybe even tonight i don't know depending on time what you know what time it gets here and if i have time to actually make the review i already have a review ready to go for tonight so we'll see how it goes um not gonna uh, rush it uh, and that is for sure but anywho four new movie monster series figures i think godzilla looks the best here uh oh four but i think hedera looks pretty good too a little boxy but that's fine i think it, it works uh, the Manda is absolutely ridiculous. Uh, it might be a really fun figure, though, when you get it in hand. We'll, we'll see about that. And uh, Mechagodzilla looks good, but I'm hearing bad things about the Super, so I'm not expecting a ton out of this at the very end uh, when it's all said and done. So there you go. Four movie monster series figures. Let's talk about Hedera for a second. The tease by Haya Toys. We just got some heads, little pieces of wing there. So, you know, a, a little bit of something to talk about. I didn't want to fully talk about it, uh, but, you know, since I'm already doing a Godzilla, you know, breaking news, I figured I'll include it here. And then again, once we have the full picture of this, I will talk about it in a video, whether it's at the end of the week on, a, you know, weekend update or in its own video. We shall see. But for now... The head looks pretty good. It looks to be very close to the colors that SH Monster Arts gave us originally. Uh, though I do see more paint on these heads to start. So that's pretty good. You know, this isn't like the super highest res, but, you know, uh, we can see that the heads look pretty good. You know, it's got a lot of segments. And then uh, the wings, from what I could tell, there's a hinge right underneath here, right underneath Ghidorah's uh, chin, but I Actually, I don't think that's a hinge, but there is a cut here for sure. So we might have some sort of articulation, but I don't know how that would work. I don't know if that's the case. It's possible, but I don't know for sure. You know, there is a cut here uh, on that wing. There's no doubt about it. And uh, you can't really tell here, but there's a little cut right there as well. So um, possible. That there's a little bit of articulation in the wings, but I'm not 100% sure. Again, 
once we see the full picture of this i'll be talking about it more the heads do look good though so there you go there's my initial thought on that you know a couple of days late but again i don't feel like it was a full video worthy thing to to do um but you know on the backs of this it's okay all right, guys, and that is it. Hope you dug this little um, breaking news. Let me know your thoughts about any of this stuff down below. Stay tuned to my Facebook page for any um, pre-orders on any of this stuff. Uh, you know, I always post it there on my Facebook page. That is the place if you want to, you know, get your pre-order info as well as any, like, deals that might come up. I post it on my Facebook page. Do, you know, get on board with that. And if you could please like, comment, subscribe, and share. Check me out on Facebook and Instagram. Peace out, peeps.